Jesus got up from the table, took off his robe, wrapped a towel around his waist, and poured water into a basin. Then he began to wash the disciples' feet, drying them with the towel he had around him. Lord, you have declared your will that we should faithfully keep your commandments. You have commanded us to love one another as you, as have, you loved have loved us. us. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Most loving God, you stoop to wash the feet of your disciples. Accept this our act of obedience and humble service. Wash us clean from all sin and teach us to serve you in the least of your brothers and sisters, to the glory of the Father, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, for ever and ever. Amen. Amen. On the solemn evening, in union with Christ's prayer that all may be one, as He and the Father are one, we pray for the unity of all Christians. Father, we pray for Christians throughout the world, that we may be one. We pray for the Roman Catholic Church and for Francis the Pope. That we may be one. We pray for the Eastern Orthodox Churches and for their Patriarchs and Prophets. That we may be one. We pray for the Churches which have covenanted with us and for their leaders. That we may be one. We pray for all other Churches. That we may be one. We pray for the Anglican Communion and for Justin, our Archbishop of Canterbury that we may be one. We pray for the Church of Southern Africa and for Tarbo, our Metropolitan, that we may be one. We pray for this diocese and for Dan, our Bishop, that we may be one. We pray for this parish, for Bronman, our priest, for Mark, our rector, that we may be one. We pray for the unity of all Christian people, that the world may believe, that we may be one. Heavenly Father, your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, said to his Apostles, Peace I leave with you, my peace I give you. Regard not our sins, but the faith of your Church, and grant her that peace and unity which is according to your will, through Jesus Christ our Lord. On the night when he was betrayed, Amen. the Lord Jesus took some bread and gave thanks to God for it. Then he broke it in pieces and said, this is my body which is given for you. Do this to remember me. In the same way he took the cup of wine after supper, saying, This cup is the new covenant between God and his people, an agreement confirmed with my blood. Do this to remember me as often as you drink it. For every time you eat this bread and drink this cup, you are announcing the Lord's death until he comes again. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. For us it becomes the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this wine to offer, 
fruit of the vine and work of human hands. For us it becomes the cup of salvation. Blessed be God forever. The first Eucharistic prayer. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give him thanks and praise. It is right and indeed our duty and joy, Lord and Heavenly Father, God Almighty and Eternal, always and everywhere, to give thanks through Jesus Christ, your only Son, our Lord. And now we give you thanks because he is the true and everlasting priest who offered himself as victim for our deliverance and taught us to do this in remembrance of him, so that by eating the bread of life in a holy meal, we might proclaim his death until he comes. Therefore, with angels and archangels and with all the company of heaven, we acclaim you and declare the greatness of your glory. We praise you now and forever, saying, Holy, 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 Holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven Amen. and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Hear us, Father, through your Son Christ our Lord. Through him accept our offering of thanks and praise and send your Holy Spirit upon us and upon these gifts of bread and wine that they may be to us his body and his blood. From the night that he was betrayed, he took bread, and when he had given you thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this and eat. This is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. So too, after supper, he took the cup, and when he had given you thanks, he gave it to them, saying, Drink of it, all of you, for this is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Whenever you drink it, do this in remembrance of me. So we proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. Holy Father, with these your gifts, we your people celebrate before you the one perfect sacrifice of Christ our Lord, his rising from the dead and his ascending to the glory of heaven. Gracious Lord, accept us in him unworthy though we are, so that we who share in the body and blood of your Son may be made one with all your people of this and every age. Grant that as we await the coming of Christ our Saviour, in the glory and triumph of his kingdom, we may daily grow into his likeness, with whom, and in whom, and through whom, by the power of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour be given to you, Almighty Father, by the whole company of earth and heaven, throughout all ages, now and forever. Amen. As Christ has taught us, we are bold to pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial, and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. The bread which we break is it not a sharing of the body of Christ? We who are many are one body, for we all partake of the one bread. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, 
have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Grant us peace. We do not presume to come to this your table, merciful Lord, trusting in our own righteousness, but in your manifold and great mercies. We are not worthy so much as to gather up the crumbs under your table, but you are the same Lord, whose nature is always to have mercy. Grant us, therefore, gracious Lord, so to eat the flesh of your dear Son, Jesus Christ, and to drink his blood that we may evermore dwell in him, and he in us. Draw near and receive the body of our Lord Jesus Christ, which he gave for you, and his blood which he shed for you. Feed on him in your hearts by faith, with thanksgiving. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is gracious. His mercy endures forever. Almighty and eternal God, we thank you for feeding us in these holy mysteries with the body and blood of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ, and for keeping us by your grace in the body of your Son, the company of all faithful people. Help us to persevere as living members of that holy fellowship and to grow in love and obedience according to your will. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you, the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Father Almighty, we offer ourselves to you as a living sacrifice in Jesus Christ our Lord. Send us out into the world in the power of the Holy Spirit to live and work to your praise and glory. God bless Africa, protect our children, Transform our leaders, heal our communities, restore our dignity, and give us peace. For Jesus Christ's sake. Amen.
and the peace of God which passes all understanding. Keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of His Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ, and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, remain with us all forever. Amen. They part my garments among them, and cast lots for my clothing. <laughs> 